This is a beginner's guide to the Kodak Instamatic M80 uh, movie projector. It projects both 8mm and Super 8. This is going to show you how to set it up, how to load the film, and then how to project. So I'll put pictures of each page of the manual at the end of the video in case you want to check those out. So let's get right to it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is get the power cord. You're going to turn it over. You can't see it right now, but there's a little clip. You might be able to see the screw and you're gonna turn it clockwise. Okay, to release it, and that way you can pick it up. So there's that clip. And then just unspool the power cord. Once that's unspooled, you're gonna use this. This is specifically made for this machine. You lay it down at this point then. There is a little clip with an arrow, and you're gonna, the arrow shows you to push it to the left. And it's gonna pop right up, okay? Then you have to push it the best rest of the way up and it feels a little stiff, but that's what you gotta do. The directions give you some idea about how far you're theoretically away from the screen. So the first thing you have to do is adjust the film type. What's nice about this machine is it uses either eight millimeter or super eight. Right now, it's set at regular eight. So if I'm gonna use regular eight film, I'm good to go. If I'm gonna use super eight, I need to change it. Now you probably are asking, how do I know if I have super eight or regular eight? The directions give this kind of guide. No space in between, super eight. Little bit of space in between, regular eight. These have bigger holes, smaller holes. On the right, regular eight. On the left, super eight. That's regular eight. There's a teeny bit of space, so it's not a lot. This is set up for regular eight, and I'm using regular eight, so I could go ahead and load the film but I want to show you what do you need to do if it says regular eight and you want to load super eight. You need to take off this housing. To remove it, grasp it at both ends and you swing the bottom of the cover towards you. Okay, and pull it out. So again, I'm gonna grasp it and pull it at the bottom. When you want to put it back on, you generally start with the top, kind of angled in, and then like that. And what you'll see is the film selector knob right here. Turn this knob, goes to super eight, regular eight. Super 8, regular 8. And you're going to see this also changes reverse and forward. That'll just, you have to be uh, wary of that as you're actually doing the film. Put the housing back on, tilt it in from the top. There we go. And push. Clicks in nice. To complicate things uh, slightly more, the other things you're going to see is that the hole, the hub, is a different size. Super 8 is bigger, from what I know, and regular 8 is this. So if I put the Super 8 on here, it moves around. So you need to put an adapter on there. So in this housing piece, look at that, clipped in place, hopefully, is the adapter. The way that you put the adapter on is there's an arrow. There's an arrow on here too. So there's that arrow. I'm gonna put this arrow on as well. So up both arrows pointing in the same direction. And again, it should now stay together. But of course, because I'm doing regular, I don't need that. So I'm gonna press this clip down and just remove this. Make sure I don't lose it and store it right here in the clip. First thing you're gonna do is put the take up reel on. It goes on the left hand side. Big hole here. This is the one that was on the bottom that the power cord was wrapped around. Always use this on the left side. And it has to be put on a certain way. So it says other side out. So you do not wanna put it on that way. You definitely want to do like this. There's slots that you're going to want to get around this, but the thing is, if you, you put it on, and then you can hold this, and now, see, I can feel it click. Before, it was kind of sliding on it. Now, it moves with it. So that's good. That's in place. The next thing you're going to do is put your film on the spindle on the right. You want to put it on so that this is hanging down, and the perforated edge is towards you. So the little holes are towards you. So I'm not doing it like this where the holes are away, I want to do it like this. There are slots here that line up with this, but I don't have to worry too much. I'm just going to get that over there. And again, I can hold this. Now it's clicked into place. So I hold that nub until it kind of clicks into place. Before you thread the film, make sure that this button, this rewind button, is in the off position. There it is in the off position. To turn it on, you actually push it down like that. And to turn it back off, it says push into release. I'm going to show this. It's a big picture, and I'll do a close-up. 
you're gonna put some of this underneath this little piece here, this white guide roller. And you want about six inches showing, so you're gonna put it underneath there, have it up like that, and then press this down. And see how it clicked? So it's gonna be like that, and you wanna click it down. If it's already clicked down and you don't want it to be, that'll free it up. So, but for now, I want it clicked down. There we go, and so now it's in place. So a little bit of a close up. Again, I'm putting it underneath this. Gonna do about six inches and push it down. You're gonna plug it in at this point. It's gonna get noisy once I get going, so let me explain it first. You're gonna take this lead and shove it down into where it says film. Slot right there, again, you're gonna push it down and you're gonna have to push it a little bit and then it'll slowly start to get taken up. Now this is supposed to have automatic uptake where you're not even supposed to have to thread it. I've tried this a couple of times, it does not work perfectly, so Let's see what happens this time. So there's two things that you're gonna wanna do once we're ready to thread it. We're gonna turn this to low. So there's the and then low. After it's on low, you're gonna turn this to normal under forward. And again, be careful that right now, because it's on regular eight, this says forward. If you have this on super eight, it'll be forward over here. So which way you turn it depends on where it says forward. So again, I'm gonna turn this to low turn this to normal. But once I have this turned to low and once I have this turned to normal forward, I'm gonna start feeding this and it'll come up and theoretically get attached here. So let's see what happens. I literally just had a little piece break off. That's this on the other side. It's supposed to be where my finger is now. Um, it just broke off as I was trying to do it. Um, and now this won't stay down, okay? So if you have that problem, you're gonna see that you are actually still able to get this thing to work, so. Let me show you again. So if you can have it locked under here, it's gonna be easier. Because what's gonna happen is when you try to load it without there, it's gonna pull against you and you just gotta be ready for that. So because I can't lock this down anymore, if I just turn it on now to motor, it's gonna suck it back out, which is not what we want. I'm gonna put it underneath here, keep it out about six inches, but I'm gonna hold it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it right here as I turn the motor on. And I'm gonna turn this to normal. So this is on normal. I'm gonna put this in here. And you can see it's starting to go. And at some point, it'll start to come up here. There it is. And it should theoretically catch, and it did. So now it's actually working. That's unbelievable. So it actually did catch, wound itself up. So that's good. Now that I'm ready to project, the height of the table should be such that the projection lens uh, is opposite the center of the screen. If it's not, you can uh, adjust it. So right here, is an adjuster knob, okay? Don't worry about it going too far. At some point it will stop. I have a very crude setup here in a cardboard box with the screen very close by. So I'm gonna get a very small picture, but you'll get to see what happens. So I'm gonna turn it again. So this is set on forward, normal. If I did it at 54, that's supposed to be in, supposed to speed it up to go past unwanted parts. I I don't know. It's it's a small difference if it's there. Six is slow mo slow motion. Motor, low, the light comes on. So there is the, what's being projected. You can see it's not super in focus. To focus it, I'm gonna play with this button. I'm gonna turn it this way or that way. And as I do, you can see it starts to kind of focus there. There's a dark line down the middle of it, okay? This dark line, what's that? So there you see it better, okay? If you see that, you wanna press, turn this frame button. And as I turn the frame button, that should go away, okay? So if I turn it too far, it'll go up the other way. Okay. So there's the picture. It's actually better than what you are seeing here. Um, again, I'm projecting it onto like a, uh, a almost a sheet here. It's slow motion. You kind of see that. Put it over here. It's still, and it stops on that. And then I can make it go in reverse. That's reverse. Normal speed. Or so, let's see now. Look at that. The waterfall. So that's pretty cool. Oh. 
You know, it's just bobs up and down a little bit. I think that's normal. And then it's so that's what's going to happen. It's going to start spinning. And then it'll just stop because uh, this will keep spinning. Turn it off. You want to rewind it onto what they're calling the supply reel. Okay, remember this is you use this for every one, so you have to rewind it really. So you're going to take that lead. See, it's already in there. I'm just going to pull it out like they're turning it. There it is. I'm going to put it over here. There is a slot through here. Put it into the slot. It says to turn it by hand. At least one. You can certainly do more turns okay, to get started. So you don't want there to be any slack. Put the rewind button to on by pushing down inward. Then put the motor. Turn this to motor. And it's going to be rewinding. This is turning like this. It might look different in the video, but it's turning like this. Soon it's going to be over. When it is, I'm going to turn the motor off. Turn the motor off. And then push the right rewind button in so it goes back to off. And ready for my next movie. A hint for that initial threading. It tells you that you want the leader to kind of be curved. And if it was curved the opposite way, that's going to make the pickup, the automatic pickup, not work too well. Also, if this end is scraggly, you can trim it. There's a trimmer right here. So I'm going to just do it to show you. You put a little bit through, and then you just press down. And it cuts it. And that piece goes in the garbage. And that way what you get is a nice, clean end. So what do you do if, in fact, it doesn't actually pick up? You know, this reel doesn't pick it up automatically. And you get this extra piece hanging out. You can just start the, the process kind of manually. Get it down in there. And clumsy. But that should now work. So I just did that manually. Yeah, and it's going. I have a Football Folly Super 8. I'm going to go through at full speed how to do this. You should have watched the rest of the video to get in detail how to do it. So I'm going to first of all adjust it. Let's click it over to Super 8. I need to take that spindle out. Put the housing back on. Click. This goes on here. Arrow up. Arrow up. Clicks nice. Put this on here. Again, should theoretically lock here. I'm gonna have to hold it under here. Again, it won't lock. So I'm gonna have to kind of be ready for that not to go. And now I'm gonna have it, I have it on normal, forward, motor. Picked up, so it should be good. Yeah, yeah. Football found a punter. Oh, oh! <laughs> All right, now that we're done, we need to put our toys away. So you're gonna just pull this off. It just clicks off. You're gonna fold it down, and it should click. Now we gotta put the cord away. There's that clip. So put this in. This is how it's gonna clip into place, hold it. So when I start to wind it, I actually kind of want it like this, okay? Like if I have it like this and I do it too tight, I actually won't be able to turn it to click it into space. I'm gonna actually have it like this and then start to wind it. Start putting this in. And just go past, pull past our cord. You can you'll see that, that that'll... Okay, click that underneath there. And that should be good to go. Yep, I got this at kind of a garage sale sort of thing for five bucks. And you never know if it's going to work or not. The lamp could be bad. Lots of things could be broken. Um, but this was pretty good. The person wrote that they paid $159 for this back in 1966. Uh, so pretty fun machine. It looks great that it plays 8 and Super 8. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have questions, put them in the comments. Or if you have information that I don't, make sure you put those in the comments as well. So you can press pause to look at any of these pages closer up. Uh, if you are still watching, please uh, seriously consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Uh, thanks for watching.